Okay, it's Dr. Buford. We're just getting started on the left knee. This is the medial compartment or inside of the left knee. As you look at the femoral condyle up above, you can see there's quite a few areas where this cartilage is not in great shape. See that? So you've got a fair amount of arthritis in this knee and um, just signs of working and playing hard for a bunch of years. Any of these areas that are loose, we're going to try and smooth out today so that they don't cause problems in the near future anyway. But you can see how some of these areas are relatively unstable, and I don't want to remove any more than I have to. And now that, that looks pretty stable there, at least at the margin. Like I said, the, the less I do to that, the better. Um, as we get to the meniscus, this is really the anterior horn of the medial meniscus. This looks pretty good. As we come around to the body, this looks pretty good too. And then hold the camera there. I'm going to straighten your knee and try and get a better look at the posterior horn here. I'll tell you, so far, so good. We'll take a probe and have a look at this in just a minute. Okay, so we're probing from the body all the way to the posterior horn here. There's a maybe a little bit of a split tear away in the back here. You can see it right there. You can see if you watch the probe, it's right where the probe disappears. Yeah, that's pretty stable, though. We could always put in a, a stitch, whether vertical or horizontal, to try and hold that down. I'll tell you what, I, I can't demonstrate any instability there. We're going to keep looking. We'll show you some more in a minute. Okay, so we're really getting a good look at this posterior horn, although you can kind of see where the meniscus lit up on the MRI scan, because I bet just underneath that it's white on the MRI scan on the slice. But it's not unstable. It's just not. And I, I can't really justify putting in a suture um, I do think your symptoms are coming from all this stuff. That's really the issue, and that's what we've been working on a fair amount here. But and we've worked right here where this was a flap that was loose, and now it's not. As we look in the um, central part of the knee, I'm going to put the shaver back in. Okay, so here's some good news. You have a really nice-looking anterior cruciate ligament. There it is right there. That looks great. No signs of any problems there, so I'm happy with that. This is the medial side again, so as you look at the cartilage, you can really start to see how different it is where it's rough compared to where it's nice and white and smooth. So next we're going to look in the lateral compartment, which is going to be over here. We're going to get your knee into a special position, but even right out of the gate, we can see that there's some thinning of the cartilage on the plateau below. We're going to reposition your knee and get a good look at the condyle. Table down, please. Okay, so this is the lateral compartment. Here's the poster horn of the meniscus.
This is the lateral plateau. Again, a little bit soft. But the condyle here up above, the femoral condyle, looks like it's in better shape than the one on the medial side, doesn't it? So I think we're done on the lateral side. We'll keep looking. If there's anything else that we do, we'll show you. But I think we're just going to have a, one more look around the lateral side, make sure we're not missing anything. But I think that's pretty much it there. Okay, and so now we're looking at your kneecap at the top of the screen, and this really tells the rest of the story. You're missing essentially all the cartilage underneath your kneecap. You can see these yellowish areas. That's because all the cartilage is gone. And even where there's cartilage left over here on this medial facet, it's really not normal and is super thin. So I think between the medial compartment and this patellofemoral joint, you've got just real in stage arthritic changes where you're bone on bone even more than your x-ray would suggest because here look look at the cartilage here it, it's completely missing as we look at this yellowish area right in the central part of the patella okay so that's obviously not great I'm gonna want you to be as active as you can possibly be for as long as you can and we'll try and manage your symptoms as best we can but we know that you've got large areas of your knee where it's down to this yellowish bone and the cartilage has been completely worn off so it won't be perfect but hopefully enough to keep you active okay we're going to finish up here and get you back to the recovery room shortly good luck to you now okay pause